Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about the cell wall lacking bacterium Mycoplasma pneumoniae. First, general characteristics Mycoplasma pneumoniae are the smallest free living bacteria. Mycoplasma pneumoniae are unique among the bacteria because they do not have a cell wall and their cell membrane contains sterols. In contrast, other cell wall division bacteria which are called as L forms uh, do not have sterols in their cell membrane and can form cell walls under the appropriate growth conditions. The absence of cell wall renders the mycoplasma pneumoniae resistant to various cell wall inhibiting antibiotics like penicillin, cephalosporin and vancomycin and other antibiotics that interfere with the synthesis of cell wall. The shape of mycoplasma pneumonia is pleomorphic and it is non-motile in nature. The size of mycoplasma pneumoniae is ranging from 100 to 200 nanometer in width and 1000 to 2000 nanometer in length. And the mycoplasma belongs to the family Mycoplasmata CA and capsules absent, endospores absent. The mode of respiration is aerobic respiration and the optimum temperature required for the growth of mycoplasma pneumonia is 37 degrees Celsius and optimum pH is 7.8 to 8. Mycoplasma pneumonia may die when pH becomes below 7. Habitat Mycoplasma pneumonia are found in the mucosa of upper respiratory tract and urogenital tract of humans. It is also found in the oral cavity and they are also present in sewage, plant, animals and insects. Mycoplasma pneumoniae is a type of atypical bacteria that commonly causes mild infections of the respiratory system. In fact, pneumonia caused by Mycoplasma pneumoniae is sometimes referred to as walking pneumonia since symptoms tend to be milder than pneumonia caused by the other germs or other bacterial isolates. Discovery of Mycoplasma pneumoniae Mycoplasma pneumoniae was discovered by Nocard and Roths in 1989 in animals with contagious bovine fluoropneumonia. In 1937, Deans and Edsall isolated the first pathogenic mycoplasma that is Mycoplasma hominis from a Bartholin's gland abscess. In 1944, Eaton isolated another atypical pneumonia and in 1962, Chanok named us Mycoplasma pneumoniae. Disease transmission of mycoplasma pneumoniae. Mycoplasma pneumoniae causes respiratory infection that spreads easily through contact with respiratory fluids. Virulence factors of mycoplasma pneumoniae. The ability of the microorganisms to cause an infection or disease is called as virulence. The term virulence was first coined by the scientist Louis Pasteur. Virulence factors are the factors which are responsible for causing an infection in human beings. Here, Mycoplasma pneumoniae have two virulence factors. The first virulence factor is adhesin proteins, which are called also called as P1 adhesins. And the second virulence factor is lipoproteins, which evades the host immune system. An incubation period of mycoplasma pneumonia infection is 1 to 3 weeks and the infective dose required for causing an infection is less than 100 CFU. Pathogenesis of mycoplasma pneumonia. Mycoplasma pneumonia is an extracellular pathogen that adheres to the respiratory epithelium by means of a complex of addition proteins called as P1 adhesin. The addition interacts specifically with sialated glycoprotein receptors at the base of cilia on the epithelial cell surface and on the surface of erythrocytes. Ciliostatis then occurs after which first the cilia then the ciliated epithelial cells are destroyed. The loss of these cilia cells interferes with the normal clearance of the upper airways and permit the lower respiratory tract to become contaminated with microbes and mechanically irritated. This process is responsible for the persistent cough 
present in the patient with symptomatic disease. Mycoplasma pneumoniae function as a super antigen that is uh, antigens that results in excessive activation of the immune system uh, stimulating inflammatory cells to migrate to the site of infection and release cytokines initially tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin 1 and later interleukin 6. This process contributes to both the clearance of the bacteria and the observed diseases. Finally, a number of mycoplasma pneumoniae are able to rapidly change expression of the surface lipoproteins which is believed to be important for evading the host immune, re immune response and establishing persistent or chronic infections. Clinical Symptoms of Mycoplasma Pneumoniae Exposure to Mycoplasma Pneumoniae typically results in asymptomatic carriage. The most common clinical presentation of Mycoplasma Pneumoniae infection is tracheobronchitis that is the lower respiratory tract infection particularly in windpipe and bronchi. Low grade fever, malaise, headache and a dry non-productive cough develops 2 to 3 weeks after exposure. Acute pharyngitis or inflammation of the pharyngitis or pharynx may also be present. Uh, symptoms gradually worsen over the next few days and can persist for 2 weeks or longer. The bronchial passage primarily become infiltrated with lymphocytes and plasma cells. Pneumonia which is referred to as primary atypical pneumonia or walking pneumonia can also develop with a patchy bronchopneumonia. Myalgias and gastrointestinal tract symptoms are uncommon in this case and the secondary complications include neurologic abnormalities like meningoencephalitis, paralysis and myelitis, pericarditis, hemolytic anemia, arthritis and mucocutaneous lesions. Laboratory Diagnosis of Mycoplasma Pneumoniae Microscopy is of no diagnostic value because Mycoplasma Pneumoniae have no cell wall. And regarding the Carly morphology, eight and cigar is the selective medium for the cultivation of Mycoplasma Pneumoniae. Unlike other Mycoplasmas, Mycoplasma Pneumoniae is a strict aerobe. The mycoplasma pneumonia grows slowly in culture with a generation time of 6 hours and colonies of mycoplasma pneumonia are small and have a homogeneous granular appearance or mulberry shaped unlike the fried egg morphology of other mycoplasmas. This image shows the colony morphology of mycoplasma pneumonia in Aten Sagar. The serological tests used for the diagnosis of mycoplasma pneumonia are enzyme immunoassay, complement fixation test and cold agglutination test. The molecular diagnostic method used for the diagnosis of mycoplasma pneumonia are 16S rRNA sequencing and polymerase chain reaction or PCR. Finally, treatment and prevention. Mycoplasma pneumonia or unique among the bacteria because they don't have a cell wall. The absence of cell wall renders the mycoplasma pneumoniae resistant to the various antibiotics like penicillin, cephalosporins, vancomycins and other antibiotics that interact with the synthesis of cell wall. And uh, the antibiotic of choice is erythromycin, deoxycycline or fluoroquinolones. Immunity to reinfection is not lifelong and vaccines have provided ineffective for this mycoplasma pneumonia infection. Dear viewers, that's all about the bacterium mycoplasma pneumonia. Thank you for your support. Thank you.